no surprises there when it comes to the character select, but I'm curious to see how Anna Harmonia will deal with the projectile war. Uh, again, Anna Harmonia forced to play another character with heavy projectiles if they would like to use it. And oh no! The robbery! Oh, Just straight yeah. robbery! Double gyro! I mean, I, I kind of want to see the Wii Brawler. The Mii Brawler. I heard stories about the Mii Brawler. I uh, heard there was some... You know, like, heard... we, were, we were talking about robbery. I heard there was some robbery with the, with the Brawler. If you've heard stories, man, last night's MSM was definitely a story to be told. But right now, the story here, it is going to be game three between, I'm sorry, game two between Emperor Gabriel and Harmonia. And Emperor Gabriel once again continuing this lead. He had, but he's got to watch the recovery here. There was the gyro in played, and that could have definitely spilled curtains for him. Down throw forward air, like that play from Gabe, changing the way he would go for an aerial into a back air and turn it to a mount for Sharp's possible high recovery. He is very jump happy, and the robo arms. That wasn't even like a Z drop. He straight up forward air. He straight up popped Sharp off stage and then committed to the Robo Arms, the Spinny Arms, the GG Arms for Epic Gabe. Okay, more Nairs into the back air. And look at these, look at both of our players trying to approach with Nairs, trying to get something started. But we see Epic Gabriel, and here we go. Here's going to be the gyro setup into the up smash. Classic setup from Rob. Yeah. Yeah, Usually from Sharp. Making a view for him. Yeah, from Sharp. Oh no, oh, that's oh, another one. Oh, mm. oh. Give him the two P. Give him the two P. That's rough. I was gonna say like for Sharp, the reason why he's looking for Nair. An indispensable source of island can be so difficult, and they're still gonna be sticking to Smashville, uh, which again on such a small stage, Palutena is able to get on, uh, get in on Steve quite easily. Yeah, the better, the faster, and the better Palutena gets in on Steve, the better for her as a whole in the matchup. Because what's already started out zero percent has immediately progressed to seventy-eight, and with points they find immediately establishing control. Miss down tilt, but I do like the punish there, getting the dash attack immediately punishing Jake. Like I mentioned earlier, the Elytra only has a starting hitbox, and it won't moves early enough be disruptive to any of uh, Bayonetta's game plan. But like the biggest thing about Bayonetta in general is, I'm not saying Frog does this, but a lot of Bayonettas what they tend to do sometimes is they tend to overextend a little too much. Just looking for that big old combo game. Oh my God. God. <laughs> Talk about overextending. She just extended into the blast zone. <laughs> you know, she's got those long legs, man. She can't. <laughs> oh. I mean, it doesn't matter. There we go. We're starting to get some damage here. Frog looks like they're like, okay, I woke up after game one, which honestly is what you really need. Great bats within, by the way. Yeah, that was uh, a really good use of bat within because every time he gets that grab down throw at zero, I'm scared of seeing what we saw game one again. No! no. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Man. Dude, Bayonetta waited out the magic burst. Dude, she's so good off stage, man. Great Bayonettas just know how to survive out there. That's insane. <laughs> I talked about the circus a couple of times in the band. Come on, because I'm terrified. <laughs> so this is gonna be right there. That's going to be the stock. Now, with Psych Up active, this what is the strongest D's here. This possibility, Skiff. Boom, kaboom, <laughs> going to come out onto the field. Going to land with the air. Psych Up is gone, but he has a fully charged neutral. <laughs> no, no, Skiff. Skiff. <laughs> <laughs> got like up smash we've got forward smash if he's able to get that oh this could be huge the back air not gonna be able to connect 36 percent on the board not looking great for tpjs he still has the potential to do this uh mm -hmm. but 117 against apalu no uh, great position Ooh. it is right when i said he has <laughs> the potential to do this he gets the pk thunder too and closes it out beautiful I... play from tony pajamas can't believe it man i I thought you guys were reading chat and you guys said Tony Jajamas, but I realized I spelled it wrong the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> it just took me like, dawned on me like right now, like oh, damn. So I, I was I was doing my best to not call him Tony Jajamas, uh, but just at Skiff's request. But I I think Tony Jajamas is hilarious. Uh, I didn't Vince, know can, I can, can, can I hear you? Yeah, the chat can hear me. That's the okay. Cool. I was convinced. I was like, yeah. Oh, Why? Because yeah. that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you going to do about it? Oh, man. Nothing, oh, he was looking for nothing. Crackle Slash, and Crackle Slash is super duper fast. <gasps> Whoa, that was such a weird interaction. No way. Okay. Ended up healing him quite a bit. No. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.
live beast mode, Paul. What, dude, there was so much happening off stage here. That was so scary. If I, want, I want my. I want. I need an adult. <laughs> <Put it up. laughs> Alright, there we go. Whoa, whoa, they're the same percentage. <laughs> 7.2 on both of them. That's. That's incredibly statistically unlikey. Unli wow. <laughs> I said unlikey. That is, un that is unlikey. <laughs> that is statistically unlikey. And we saw it here tonight on the 2GG stream. Oh, man. Uh, do commentary with you. It's statistically so unlikely <laughs> as me stuttering. That, that happens a lot. It does happen a lot. But that's okay, man. We all we all have fault. Hey, no, no, no. Right don't, don't follow last. I'm so close follow to 1,000. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Hey, thank you guys tonight. Everybody have a great night. And congrats once again to Tony Pajamas on the amazing run. I'll steal your line. Be good to each other. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, we oh. forgot. F tilt. Yeah, forward throw will definitely take it at that high percent. <laughs> Bandit is still having that forward throw. Coming up from Smash 4 is definitely wonders for her at the late game. Uh, not as good as it used to be, nonetheless. I mean, definitely Bayonetta is one of those characters. Oh, man. Mozzie tried to escape to the sky. That was his last resource. Oh, oh man. Fro. Fro, where are we going? Where are we going, Fro? To the skies. <laughs> 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 that was that was a to the skies play yet again from Great oh, Crash. Oh man! You do not use that free Prime Sub Gaming. Jeff Bezos walks into Fro's room at night and he wakes him up with a five dollar slap because you did not use oh. your Prime Gaming sub. So make sure you use your Prime. Why, Gaming Jeff? Sub. <laughs> make sure you use your Prime <laughs> Gaming sub, man. Don't throw it away. If you give it to us. You, like I said, emotes and yes. Emotes and viewing. If you don't want to give it to us, give it to Fro. If you don't want to get to Fro, give it to somebody, oh, for man. Sure. Help, help support 2GG. But just like that, Frog, you know, 86% Epic Gabriel throwing out those up smashes, making Frog a little bit more nervous about rolling on these platforms. Especially with the big up smash that uh, Epic Gabriel has access to. I would, that would have been so good for Frog if Frog was able to get that edge guard off stage, dropping down. There you go, though. Gets the oh, forehead. That should close out, and that's the first stock going to Frog. Wow, you know, and that's, that's actually like the... The Bayonetta combo that everyone was saying, like, hey, you need to be watching out for Bayonetta. She's still got stuff. She's still going to see both players actually, you know, starting with a little bit more space in between each other than we have uh, traditionally in in this tournament. You know, this matchup is actually pretty interesting, right? It's like he who shall ledge trap versus she who shall never be ledge trapped. This is a match where Arcfire is actually incredible against Header. But the thing is, it's still going to go in the lead to end because end finds uh, Flop A getting a little bit too far downstage and not recovering. Yeah, I think that may have been like a misinput air dodge, which allowed, which really <laughs> making the big play going off stage with the down air. Any, is, if anybody in this room is surprised by that down air, you are paying attention to game one. Both of these players are just hunting for that down air over and over and end finally is the one to find it. But great answer right afterwards with the sun salutation. And once again, she who shall not be ledge trapped by the person. It, what are you doing all the way down there? That's what happens when you go that deep for a down air where nobody existed. And Beautiful dare from Frog to set up a potentially awful situation for N. It's not quite going to work out the way that they were hoping. Yeah, no, right now, Frog has got a nice little opening. Uh -oh. Are they gonna, they're gonna, oh my god, okay. we're going into a game five. This is absolutely ridiculous. I told you, man, tripled your power. Every time you SD, it adds more to your power, and Frog is showing us that that is 100% the case. Bayo mains, hear me out. At the beginning of every set, Haces with the side Bs. No up tilt to speak of quite yet. Gonna get the grab F throw, Ooh. and this could be curtains. No oh tech my god! No, no, no. All of my points, Edermonia! But hey, good stuff, the frogs. Uh, hey, really Skiff. turning it around, getting the reverse 3 0. Hey, hey, Skiff. Hey, what? Get good. Hey, it happens, you know. Frog to the moon, baby! Now, to the moon, to the moon on frog stock today. <laughs> now, nice little uh, stock lead here. Oh, almost dying too. Jeez. Almost. I do Ooh. like how uh, how. That's it. Oh, he's That's dead. it. Oh, he's... <gasps> <laughs> was that? <laughs> what was all that? Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna close it out there. Frog's gonna take the win, but jeez, that was so weird. I know you can't see my face right now, uh, but. There's just shock 
and awe and utter disbelief. Kill, yeah. Yep. Up there yeah, is but... finally going to kill, but 148%. Frog just needs to breathe. Uh, and Jake will probably die here. Yeah, gotta be careful. Frog's starting to get too complacent, and now Jake just put on a whole bunch of damage. Oh my god! <laughs> This is what you get, Frog. This is what you get. <laughs> Placency breeds weakness. Oh, that is man. The Sun Tzu promise and demonstrated perfectly right there. Yeah, no, Jake's not. is in trouble. 83% mm -hmm. means that a good, well placed back air at ledge will close out this entire. Woo! So, too, will an F smash, at least if it's placed like that. Are you ready for a sharp tality? Sharp tality? Sharp tality? No, no, Sharp Tality. Sharp, sharp Tality, tally, baby. <laughs> I can't believe we went through all of this with Sharp being like, dude, I just want to watch wrestling. I just want to lay down. Goes 10 games. I, dude, I can't stand. I'm, I can't stand him sometimes.